I never talk about this, but I'm going to share my top advice how to get an Hermes bag. I'm like feeling more excited about wearing other outfits, and this is a really exciting haul for me because it's stuff that I used to wear and I miss wearing. Everything in this haul is the best quality I can find on the high street, and the pieces look so elevated. Like, this is one of them. lately but when I'm filming it's for like really good pieces that I love and obviously Hermes unboxings and obviously Paris trips as well my tripod is about to break so I hope we can get through this um it's so hot in uh, London but then it rains I have no idea what to wear now I don't know whether to pair should I pair this vlog with because this is stuff I'm packing for Paris or should I show you the Hermes bag I'm going to show you the Hermes bag because I'll be taking that to Paris, so I need to unbox it before you see it, so it's going to be a good one, last week's was a good one, I, I also did what I was packing for Paris, and that was like um, summer pieces, it was literally 90% of my case, and then I was waiting for a few of these bits to come through, like a couple of jackets, that's it. I'm literally going to try and put everything in a carry-on and I won't go, go into it in this video but in the last video do go and watch it if you haven't. I'm basically talking about how I like, had a bit of a health issue but that was a good thing that made me get more healthy. I've like lost a tiny bit of weight like just feeling less bloated and more importantly I'm working out again so I'm feeling better and it's really lifted my mood. It's, it's lifted my mood and I'm like feeling more excited about wearing other outfits and this is a really exciting haul for me because it's stuff that I used to wear and I miss wearing and I think I was saying in the last video, I won't repeat myself, but like it is hard when you're a mum and you transition and I kind of just thought I'd go back to how I was and it's been three years and I've kind of just clicked that I need to like transition a bit and pivot my wardrobe and I just think I was busy, I wasn't prioritising so I'm really in a good frame of mind and getting more excited about like new looks and getting back into the older things and I always love packing for Paris. So basically everything in this wall, in this hall is, go, is high street and it's, it's very good quality, basically it's the best quality I can find on the high street and the pieces look so elevated like this is one of them like look at the buttons they're like pearly like not itchy it, it's so beautiful that like they do like best like this to me is like I, this could easily be Saint Laurent or Celine and I'm spending so much money over at Hermes I did an Hermes unboxing and like loads of stuff check that out you missed it and a very expensive Hermes bag that I'm going to show you today. So yeah, I'm definitely shopping on the high street. But that's how I've always been. I love my designer pieces when I can afford them. And when it's something spectacular. I love jackets mainly. Um, but I've always been quite like into high street clothes. And basically I just buy what I like. And it's got to feel good, look good not and not be itchy. So let's get into this haul. Because I am going to put the Hermes unboxing on top of this as well. So this is my favourite thing from the haul. I wish that they did like little shorts with them or even trousers. So um, I have to keep an eye out because I think if something's popular they do make it a two piece. But that's what I love about this website. They do two pieces um, and I love that because it's just easy to pack. I also have a discount code which is a massive 25% off. I will put the discount code for this haul across the screen but you'll find all the information, sizing, links to each product and the discounts as well and do follow me on Instagram because I'll be wearing all of this in Paris. I'm actually wearing this one. I have a, I even have a girls night on Friday. It's not a girls girls night. It's with one of my best friends, just us two. We're going to like a restaurant that's like got party vibe and live music and I did not know what to wear. Like I actually was worried and I just thought oh I'll wear like leggings and I was getting stressed out and I'll, I still talk about this and I tried this on and I was a bit like oh glittery it's a bit glittery but it's actually amazing because I love these types, type, types of jackets I wear them all the time they just work they're classic I love the scent on and the Celine jackets but like maybe I will buy one but for 4k I actually did nearly buy the scent on one like this but it fits so bad 
it fit so small. I tried on a size 14, which was ridiculous. That was the biggest it went to, and I'm not joking, it was like a size A. So I would have splurged on that because I loved it, but the, like, it physically didn't fit me, and I'm not even that big. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have so many like this because I love them and they're really good prices. But I don't have one with a bit of glitter and it's so perfect for my night out. And I love the little shorts because it's still like summer here. And shorts are really flattering on me because I'm big and bloated and even when I'm like eating well, I've got a bit of a tongue on me, I always have. But my legs are okay, like they're the best part of me. <laughs> Um, so that's going to be amazing for me. It's going to cover up my arms and my tummy. I, if I'm hot, I can wear a t-shirt underneath. But that's what I'm going to wear. And I even think I'm going to wear my belly pump. So I'm not, who am I? Like, not been out for five years. I'm not, like, literally it's been five years for me. So it was locked down, had the baby. Um, I'm going to be uncomfortable and I really want to enjoy myself. So I'll show you the look that I'm going to wear. So follow me on Instagram. I might have already worn it and been out by the time this goes out, so we'll see. Um, but follow me on Instagram, I'm definitely going to be wearing this out. We're going to a, a restaurant in Chigwell. You'll probably all know exactly which one it is, the, the people that live in Essex. Um, yes, I absolutely love this. If you're looking for like a nice two-piece two set with shorts, lit, like, how nice for Christmas and, and autumn. I mean, it's summer and I'm going to be wearing this in the evening. It's so flattering on. It's so stunning. I'd wear this with leather trousers. Such a good two-piece. I'm really, really happy with it because I was so worried what to wear. And it's the kind of thing that I can wear like to work events. Um, it's still like formal. Like, I think it's such an excellent find. Amazing quality. You can see how flattering it is on me. Prices are amazing and then you get that 25% off. Even in the evening when I go out with Paris, we're going to go just us because we are actually going for work. I'm still not going to wear heels in the evening. Like unless it's a work thing, I'm just not going to wear heels. I want to walk to the restaurant. I want to be, I don't want to be moaning. So that's going to be like, a, I'm going to feel like, dare I say, a bit sexy. But it's classy and it's elegant. And if I want to go out like during the day and then we stay out all evening, I still think this is fine, so I absolutely love that. Another two piece, actually I've got three two pieces here. I loved my other one so much, I'll try and put up a picture here, and I'll link the old video as well to this. I loved it so much, I picked up the more crop version, because as much as I love that jacket, and I really do love it, I think it'll be more worn in winter, I do love these more cropped ones. Go up a size by the way, but I'll put it all in the description box. And this too comes with the shorts, but the reason why I got the shorts again is because the other ones had something on the bum. The fit of their shorts are perfection. They are literally perfection. Like whenever I've bought shorts before or tried them on, they've been hideous, like square or too short or too long. The Guerrilla shorts and their sets are perfection. I'm so impressed with their with their fit. So I don't think I said already, but everything is from Guerrilla, and I've done one haul from these before, and I've I only got like three outfits just to test it out, but I still wear those jackets, and I am even in more in love with these pieces. Now this, I thought I was going to send back. I opened it and I thought oh, that's so nice, but I can't wear stuff like that. It fits amazing i'm so excited that i have something that's like feels like the old me and i think the reason why i can fit into these kind of things one is down to me because i have been eating so much better and i'm exercising so i just think i've like lost that bit of blow and i'm getting a bit more confident but also the gorilla fit they're short, I don't know who makes their shorts, but it's amazing. And it's just long enough on the arms, so I cover up a bit of my arms. For some reason I was thinking Monaco with this. It's so nice, and I've got a bit of a tan from the south of France. I guess I was there a month swimming every day, so yeah, I've got a nice little tan, and I think I'll just probably bring, I don't know, I only want to bring one big bag, but this just looks so good with all my outfits. But you're going to see the new bag, and I can't go to Paris and not take it. So, yeah, probably have a suitcase full of bags. She said she was only going to take a carry-on. So, yes, I'm so in love with my three sets. that I just I think I've just found a set that works for me. It's not too expensive. They're show off all my favourite parts, cover up all the worst parts. They're chic. I can wear them for work events. I can wear them out with the girls. I can wear them with my husband. I just think they're a really, really good find. This last one, I couldn't resist this one. Like, literally on the Chanel hanger, it looks like it could be Chanel. I know I'm obsessed with these jackets, but I know I know you are as well, and we all love our Chanel handbags and everything. And 
I honestly, when I, I was thinking about getting a new Chanel last season, a jacket, and there was nothing I loved, and I'm not spending all that money unless it's something I love. Like the buttons have gone like, I don't know what they do with the buttons. I literally prefer, like Chanel, can you not just do buttons like these? I just want pearl buttons or CC buttons. I do not want gems and diff like, I just want classic. So yeah, this does the job. And it's, I, at the end of the day, I like the Chanel jackets because I like the vibe. Um, so I am on the lookout, but in, in the meantime, this is exactly my vibe. Like, I've been wearing this with a pair of jeans, I'll put up a picture. Like, literally, just a pair of jeans. I would even throw on a pair of trainers, really, but nice bag, casual, over the shoulder, nice and affordable. Even the collar, like, look how well they're made. Like, the collar has a felt back. And this is just extra detail that, sorry to name and shame Zara, but I just don't do those hauls anymore. Everything is made so atrociously. It really, really is atrocious. And I haven't popped in there for well over a year, but I think the last time I did, I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. And I was like, no, it's not. It was like 80 pounds. Like you get something like this and they're so expensive and the quality isn't as good. So I'm really happy that I found, I like come away from the high street um, because everything was just such awful fit. Um, so I'm really happy with this brand. I'm so hot. So we've seen absolutely everything in the cutaways. How nice is this though for autumn? And you're going to see my new bag. It's going to look so good with a new bag. Let me know which one you prefer, this one or the longer style. I'll try and put it side by side. So I will link everything in the description box below. All the sizes, all the discount code. The discount code will only work for 14 days, by the way. I know last time some people were asking me for it, but it was... Um, expired and I couldn't pro prolong it so make sure you do use that I am so obsessed with these I haven't gone overboard how much is this look at this that would be so nice for like a Christmas event or a winter event won't it like a pair of black leather trousers or something like that it's so nice okay so I'll leave all those um, pieces in the description box below and now I will leave you with my unboxing. I think I might show you a snippet of going to Cannes. So sorry if it's long, but the unboxing is worth it. Literally, I got a unicorn bag, a wishlist bag, in an Hermes shop that I have zero history in, and I explained like, how I did it. So yes, enjoy the second part of the video. Hello from the south of France. I've been here three weeks, and this is the first time I've picked up my camera. Also, the first time I've put on makeup, which is just, everything but foundation really um i've been in the same skanky old bikinis all week i mean you barely even get dressed you go naked yeah we actually when we wanted uh one of the criteria in our house at the house that we when we bought one was that we wanted it so private that you could walk around naked if you wanted and um yeah we apparently always do that so um i've had poor hair for the last three weeks i've washed my hair um basically it's going to be just a little vlog of us going to can because i always say in stories or previous vlogs where i say i went to can yesterday i'm going to can tomorrow i went to can today but i don't really show you so um i think i showed you what i did last time in saint Tropez. so this time i'm going to show you what we do in can we do different things we went there the other day and what did we do we had lunch you got your hair cut with Oni. I got a manicure and then we came home. Yes. Yeah. So we do random things. Sometimes we go to one of the beach clubs. We had our kids um, toast. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk you through all of this kind of thing because food has never been great in Cannes, but it's worse. It's get, getting worse and the prices are extortionate and we always knew that. Um, but I'm gonna show you some to avoid that are really appealing because they're on the front and I'm just gonna tell you, like if you really wanna sit there and people watch, these are the ones to go to. Try and not be tempted by the menu, they're really bad. So I'll show you which one we went to, but we wanted just to people watch. We were hot, we just sat down. It was something like 130 pounds and it was literally like a kid's ham sandwich. It wasn't even a nice ham sandwich. I had a club and it was literally turkey and tomato. That was it. And the prices were ridiculous and it's this really overpriced. So I'm gonna show you some nice places. The further you go back, the better you are for food and prices. Um, so we'll talk you all through that. Today, I do actually have an Hermes appointment. 
and um, I'm easy. And there's one thing I really want to get, which is like a really easy thing to get that you can get online. I just want a belt. Um, just depends on that, the colour and size that I want. So I'm going for that. I did want to get homeware for the house, but I'm not going to do it until we finish renovating. It's just no point. You know, when, when all the new kitchen's in and everything. So I'm going to leave the homeware out. But yes, I have an appointment. I have no expectations. They have my wish. It's different to London. Like, I put in my wish and they call me when it comes in. Whereas it's not me really like that. You just, like, put your wish. And I guess if they see something and you have an appointment, you get it. Why is the heating on? I mean, if she has something that I like, great. If she doesn't, she doesn't. I'm really easy. Um... And I said to Paris, when we're travelling in Dubai and we're doing all of that and at the end I get bad results and it's disappointing, you can't, like that for me is the only disappointing thing, whereas this is like really small, so I'm fine. I'm like happy if she gives me something, happy if I get a belt, happy if we just get an appointment. I don't know, let's see. So you're going to see what it's like to go to an Hermes appointment and I'll just take you around can. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Honoré looks the cutest. So at the moment, I'll put up a picture of what he's wearing every day. I let him pick his clothes when we go shopping. I let him pick his clothes in the, in the morning. I never like suppress him into what to wear. But it is like red, green, orange superhero stuff. And it just makes me laugh. Like if you're mum to be and you think you're going to dress your child in neutrals, they think again. And don't force them to wear like the beiges because they're young, they like the colours. So I had this beautiful outfit, like a sailor outfit, and I really didn't think he was going to want to wear it because it's like plain. He loved it, didn't he? He said, look at me, Papa. And then he said, show Nanny. And we did this picture, a very serious picture, and I had to send it to my mum. So yes, let's go to Cannes. Okay, down there is literally, at the end of the road is the beach and Hermes, one minute walk. We always walk past this hotel and I actually think it's really amazing. It's called Hotel de Provence. It's only three star. So it's going to be really reasonable, but it's got a beautiful balcony, like baby blue shutters. I think it's gonna be really basic. But look how pretty that is. And it is in the heart of Cannes, under a minute walk to the beach, under a minute walk to Hermes. I think it's a really beautiful hotel. Ah. He wants to be a dentist, I think. That's good, we get free teeth. <laughs> free teeth. Free teeth for Mama. <laughs> hey, what did you say about Daddy Belly? Daddy Belly. Um, just by the seafront, there's this amazing toy shop. It doesn't look great, but it actually is. We've got him this speedboat for the pool. And then a few little trinket things. That's what it's called. And it's two minutes from like where they do the red carpet. See that building where they do the Cannes Film Festival and carpet? It's just two minutes from there. Uh, on the corner of Zara. What did you get? Sharky. You got a sharky and a boat? Yes. Should we go home to the swimming pool? And all this? I'll drive home I'm just going to show you obviously on the left you have the beach and then all across the front there's all the designer shops every single one you can imagine I love this little pub here with Celine it's a really good Celine and the Armani cafe always looks nice with them and there's a live singer tonight and you've got Louis Vuitton actually looks lovely at the Armani and then like one end is the Carlton, the Martinez, Hermes, and then right down the other end is Chanel. Okay, so if you walk down one of the streets, parallel with this road are all the high street stores like Zara, all the high-end high street like Sandro. So the front is all the luxury. Next one is all the high streets and high-end. And then I always think it ends with Chanel, which is just coming up. And then we're gonna start seeing all the restaurants. So you've got Dior, and then the Chanel. The Chanel's really nice here actually, they're really helpful, they've always got amazing pieces. Here it is. It's definitely 
worth checking out because it's really big and they have a bit of everything. And then that's the building that I was trying to show you earlier. That's kind of where the toy shop is, just turn right. So this is the restaurant that we came to, La California. It's an amazing spot, but that's the one where it was like a kid sandwich for 130 pounds. So I would suggest to go in there for a drink. And then all on here, you have all of the restaurants. So I just think don't be sucked in and do not eat there. It's overpriced, not very good food. I would just go there for a drink or at the most a dessert. Um, just for those who like McDonald's, it's a really nice one. It's in the middle of amazing restaurants. It's always packed. Um, so worth checking out because it's quite nice McDonald's. And all here is all completely new with this pavlon and fountains. So it's a lot nicer than it used to be. So this one here always looks busy. Um, so I would probably give it a go, but it's really a far walk, but it is always busy, so it's probably worth it. I was told worth it's going. amazing pizza. Um, sorry, the windscreen's a bit messy, but I feel like these restaurants down here are better, but it is a really far walk, just opposite the marina. So you've got the time to walk all the way down here. I think the restaurants are a bit better. I have no idea in what part of um, video this is going to go in, so I'm sure you've enjoyed some kind of first half of the video, um, but I'm going to talk you through my new Hermes bag. So you've probably seen this all over TikTok and you've probably already seen it already, but for those of you that haven't, I'm really gonna talk to you. We're going for lunch in a minute. Um, we're going to um, just one of the restaurants that I love in Sloan Square and I'm wearing my Rue Sloan Pearl Duster that I just love so much. It looks so good with a pair of jeans and this bag, by the way. I love wearing it casually. Um, we do have these in stock, we just received our new batch whilst we were in South of France. So we have a new fresh batch of these. Um, and someone very prestigious wore it in Singapore and the last batch all sold out because of that person. But I won't be dropping any names. Um, okay, let's get into it. My new bag, I have already worn this. Um, so you, no, do you know what? I'll leave you with the proper unboxing. So you've already seen it now, it is a Birkin 30, we'll get into that size later, Green Mare Grizzly, the Grizzly being the suede. Now this is such, it's really hot, this is such a hard bag to come across. I have been on the wish list for this for over a year and Paris, we, all, we both made the same wish list. He has also been on the wish list for this for a year and he said that if anything else comes in, he was going to decline it because he really wanted to get this bag. It was our anniversary week and um, yeah, I just couldn't believe we got offered the bag that he really wanted to buy me for my anniversary. It's also my birthday in a couple of weeks as well, so the timing was great. Um, now I'm going to talk to you about, I'm gonna, I never talk about this, but I'm going to share my top, my top advice how to get an Hermes bag. And this rule, by the way, it works if you're going to a holiday destination where you've never been before, because that is the hardest way to get a Birkin or a Kelly. Um, so it really is good advice. I obviously have quite a few bags and like amazing pieces. So trust this advice from someone who kind of lives it, so it must work. You're not going to like the advice because it's not like a formula. I've seen so many people say that you need to buy Birkin bait and spend a lot of money. 
I shared this on TikTok that I do believe that is true for America, but it's just not, it's not the same rules in Europe. So the reason why, the reason how I think you get an Hermes bag across Europe, I have told you before that you need to know your, your knowledge on Hermes. You have to know this because part of the reason why you'll get an Hermes bag is they're trying to see who really loves the brand. So if you can't even be bothered to take the time to know about the Hermes leathers, the Hermes sizes, the different names of the bags, um, the colours, the names of the colours, the colours that are in for that season. I mean, it's a lot of information. If you hear someone like Sabrina and I talking, like we have to be really careful when we hire photographers because we'll say, oh, get, get the Chai B25 and then put it with the Mini K with like, um, like actually if you don't know Hermes, you won't actually be able to understand anything we're saying. And I've had photographers say, sorry, well, what's a B25? And I'm saying, oh, it's a Birkin in 25 centimeters. And like, you really do have to know your stuff because I think that's rule number one. So don't go in asking for a Chai Birkin when Chai was discontinued two months ago because you're already showing that you don't know the brand enough and these bags are so hard to come by. You really do need to know. And I, I think anyone who really loves any kind of product, you're going to do the research. So that's number one, and you've heard me say that before. Now, you're not gonna like this, but for me, it is your energy and your aura. Do you know how many friends I have told to just walk into a boutique and say, look, just go in, be yourself, just say you really wanna have a bag, you've been trying for X amount of time, and because I know that they genuinely do want one and they genuinely have been trying and there's this like one dream bag that they want. Um, and it's worked every single time. And I think the, the essays, these essays, they're experienced. They really can see about who really loves the bags and they're not just buying it for status or reselling. Of course, these people crack through, like it's life that happens. I'm probably sitting in the most unflattering position at the moment. Um, but yes, they, they, they always going to creep through. But I think genuinely, I swear when I went in for this appointment, if I got a bag, I was obviously hoping for a bag, a bag offer of some sort. I honestly thought I'd get a bag offer, which was quite optimistic. But I thought it was probably one that I weren't going to take. And for some reason, I woke up thinking of Green Mare, which weren't even that high on my list, but it's just so perfect, which I'll get to in a second. Um, if she didn't offer me a bag, I wouldn't have gone out disappointed. I would honestly have been happy to be in the aircon, out of the heat, having a pleasant experience in an amazing boutique that has so many amazing products in there and pieces, and not having to queue outside at 10 a.m. for over an hour, because I've done that before, and then, you know, you really love the, the product, you just want to get something normal, like a bracelet, like, like costume jewelry bracelet, or you want to get like a pillow, like something that's not even that hard to get and you just can't get the service because it's just so busy. I honestly was just so happy to have to shop with someone that I really liked and felt a connection with and it was just pleasant. And when she offered me this bag, I was a bit dumbfounded. I actually wasn't expecting it. So I think maybe the SA could feel that. And I can relate because I used to work in Harrods. You know I used to work in Harrods. I used to sell high-end pieces to people day in, day out. And you know, I am a normal person and I would of course give to people the good things that were nice to me and I got on with. You know, it's my job, I'm there every day. I wanted to have a pleasant day at work. So I think just remember they're normal people and if you just want a Birkin 25 in gold or noir or baby pink because that's the best status bag, I think they're gonna sense that. And quite frankly, you don't deserve one over someone that reads about it day in, day out and truly really loves the brand. And if it weren't popular on TikTok, they'd still be back there, you know? So I think that honestly is the key thing. And you walk into that boutique on your holiday in Italy and you ask them, I really would love a blue jean Birkin 30. It is my dream bag, do you have it? And they're like, wow, I don't have a Birkin 30 blue jean, but I have a Birkin 30 25 blue jean. That's how it happens. So I find it quite stressful. I love the way I shop in London because I put my wish list and they email me when it comes in. And if it's got slightly something different, which does happen with um, Hermes all the time, it will be like, I honestly would have asked this for in a Birkin 25 and my essay would have emailed me saying, look, I've got it in a 30, do you want it? And I can process it, I can decline it, I can wait for the next one. 
with these walk-in appointments or you know even appointments that you've made you can go into somewhere in Italy or south of France and you can speak to someone and make an appointment for in two days time but it's still technically it's different to London so I went in not like having an offer or anything and when she she had my email and wish list and when she came out with this big huge box I thought it's either a Birkin 30 or a, a Kelly 32 and I don't want either of them and I knew I was going to decline it. The only bag I was going to accept in a Birkin 30, not even a Kelly 32, was this, if it was a Birkin 30 Grizzly and I thought no way has she got a Grizzly here. At peak time in the south of France in August, no way is she going to have that. And she said, okay, it's not the size that you was most requested, which was 25. It's a 30, but it's Grizzly. I was like, so Grizzly what? I, I didn't think she said, and I thought she said Vert Grizzly. And I've got my Birkin 30 in Vert Vert. And I was thinking, I don't want another Birkin 30 in Vert, but because it's Grizzly, I honestly was going to take it. So that's my Birkin 30 in Vert Cypress. And um, I love it. And I honestly would have taken it again if it was suede, because I just wanted suede so badly, and suede green would have been really nice. And um, when I saw, I saw instantly it was Green Mayer, I just couldn't believe it. And that kind of thought that popped into my head in the morning and on the drive to town, it was almost like I knew it was happening because I kept having Green Mayer, Green Mayer. And it wasn't a bag that I really wanted because I have my Green Mayer on this and I've got so many bags in grey. I have Green Mayer, I have Utope, I have Green Tortorelle, I have Etam, which is like Green Mayer. Um, but it was perfect and actually if she would have offered me this in the 25 I would have taken it and been a bit like oh why did I do that because I have let me show you it's going to be really helpful for a size um, a size as well this is a Birkin 25 so Birkin 25 versus a B30 if she would have offered me that in a 25 or a like this in a B30 and a B25, I would have taken the B25 and it would have been such a bad decision because I basically would have had two bags the same. Um, so I'm so happy that I have this suede bag in 30 because the suede is quite casual So and the B30 is a casual size. So for me, it's just perfect. And you want to know why the Green Mayer is so perfect. I'm going to show you a little trend that I've showed on TikTok, you might have already seen it, but basically I'm going for carrying two bags around with me. And that's because if I'm going around in London for meetings or something, I'll bear in mind how I wear this outfit, but I'll change it up with shoes and a jacket and change the bag and I'll shoot two looks using kind of the same outfits um, and I never leave anything in the car. So I'm normally like carrying two bags around like this. And I thought, I wonder how this will look tied together because then it's not crushed inside I don't need to hold it and um, forget that I'm holding two bags it can stay on there and it also will look really cool so I'll show you how I did that in the cutaway and I love it if I know this will not be for everyone I'm sure I'm gonna get trolled to the moon and back on on TikTok for talking about this stupid first world trend and I'm with you it's just a bit of fun I understand but it is just a bit of fun but I'm gonna do it handle is with this green mayor handle it just looks divine and then you've got the contrast with the actual bag like for me if you have like say you have like my friend she has a mini nat out with gold with a gold handle and a gold strap imagine if she had a birkin a gold birkin like that would be another amazing contrast but at the same time if you had a black mini on a black birkin 30 that would look sensational on a birkin 35 it would look really good as well if you have a red birkin with a pink kelly that would be the most amazing co contrast i think it, it works from a birkin 30 upwards 
Um, and any contrast, I think they look amazing, but this for me is so me, it looks so amazing. So that's a little trend. I would love you to tag me on socials if you've tried that out. If you do have a Birkin and you do have a mini Kelly, I would absolutely love to see your trend, this trend, and please tag me and I'd love to see it. Um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna cotton on. I filmed too many videos today. So yes, this is what I bought in Cannes. Um, I'm just really happy to have like a nice connect connection and obviously I live in the south of France now for a lot of the year so generally I'm so happy to have somewhere because I want to get like some home pieces and I didn't want to drag them as homeware especially cutlery and crockery like crockery and cups I don't want to drag that from country to country so I probably I started looking at other things instead of like you know the Hermes blankets that I love and the cushions that I love and the, the Hermes coffee uh, cups that I have I was trying to think of another brand that was easy to get hold of so I'm so happy that I have like a good essay that I can go buy stuff from my home and just random stuff um, but I honestly still can't believe I've got this it's probably the last big bag I buy in a while that's actually actually I'm probably no that's a lie because there's a vintage bag that I've seen and my favorite size for this bag is actually back in 30 and I found one so after that would probably be my last one but um, I'm so happy if it was any other Birkin 30 even if it was in like an amazing colour like sensational colour I wouldn't have taken it if I don't love them I don't take them I've turned down so many bags but actually every bag I've ever turned down I've majorly regretted it so I feel like I'm never going to turn one down again um, but here she is so so hard to get hold of this I love the contrast with the, the leather and the suede. It's so beautiful. I've never seen a grizzly in the flesh. I think Birkin 30 size is so perfect for, um, and this is a, a taupe belt, so you can see the difference. But yes, I'm so in love. I won't talk anymore. Um, I'll probably pair this video with something else, but yes, I'm so in love with it. And I hope that helps you how to get an Hermes bag. Um, I know that some of you think, oh yeah, I'd rather just an ingredients and formula of telling me exactly what to buy and what email to email, but um, no, that honestly does work. It's the best way to just be yourself and enjoy the game and it will help you as well because it's so frustrating and I get people message me, I'm not kidding, it's almost daily at some point and I'm not even talking about like, I'm talking about people with big accounts, let's just say it like that. People with big accounts, I must get one one a week. How, how can I get an Hermes bag, Claire? And I've helped so many people, but I kind of stopped now just because the level of usage is quite high. <laughs> I don't even know how else to say it, but like if Paris sees me replying to someone, giving them advice, he'll snatch the phone off me because he'll say, why are you doing this? These people don't even talk to you again. And he's absolutely right. Um, but I'll hear people like, get something amazing, like a really amazing hard to get bag and then they're saying they want another one next week. And I'll say to them, and I don't mean this in a nasty way, like I like all of these people, but and I am very like upfront with them, I will say to them like enjoy it, that like, this is the whole thing. Like you can't expect to get this beautiful, amazing bag that so many people want that has an, a massive resale value because it's so hard to get and a month later you want a new one. Like, you have to enjoy the process, like, have that excitement, because I still wait so long in between my bags, and, okay, it's not that long for Hermes, but I get so excited when I get that call, because I feel like I've waited for so long, like, at least six months, and, um, which I know is not long for Hermes, but you have to enjoy the game, and you have to really love the pieces, and that's just my main advice. And I guess if you're in America, don't take my advice. I'm sure that does work, but maybe look for an, an American Hermes person because I know the, the rules are different. So that's my bag. Don't forget to show me your trend. Take me in this trend. I really, really would love to see it. I'm so hungry now. I need to go. Um, but if I've talked about anything else in the video, I would, of course, link everything. Uh, what I'm wearing, I'm just wearing, you know, one of my favourite t-shirts from a high street store. It's like I've worn it to death. And I tried to order another two, but they're sold out. Um, but I'll link the brand. I'll link my duster because we've got new ones in of these. Um, pair of old vintage jeans. And um, yes, my new bag. 
I've spoken far too long about it, but uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.